first of all, before I get started in this video, there was another um, black killing of a young black man. And this young black man was a year younger than me. My, my, my heart goes out to his family, my condolences, my empathy, my compassion. I'm sorry this happened, happened to his family. I'm sorry that it happened to him. I'm sorry the pain his children have to experience. I'm very sorry for that. And, and, and it has to stop. It must stop. It must stop. The killings must stop. And the police have to be held accountable. Bottom line, they've been doing this for years and years and years. The only difference is except for technology is bringing it out more. But this has been happening for years. And years, some people trying to blame the politics. Some people, listen, they always hated black people. And that's not a secret. Well, black people don't understand. If you closely listen to their conversation, they're really describing themselves when they're talking. When they talk about person don't look human, they're not human. Matter of fact, they're half breed. Cause like I explained to you in the other video, the angels came down from heaven and raped the black women. I done told you all this. So, so it's time to wake up. It's time to embrace what's going on and stop trying to blame it on your skin complexion and beating yourself, beating your head, head against the wall trying to figure out what's going on. What's going on? They don't like you because God chose you. Bottom line, jealousy. That's what's going on. The Bible tell, tell you, jealousy is as cruel as the grave. And that's what's happening to our black people. They're going to the grave behind senseless killing. The young man had his hands up in the air. The police shot him in the head. Shot him. A, 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 a white female, I believe, shot him. And, um... And he would taser. He would taser. So, so saying that, it, it has to stop. And, 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 and it's sad. Because when I look on Facebook, all I see y'all taking all these pictures. Talking about, talking about, he say, she say. And it's sad. It's sad because all this stuff is being displayed in front of your children. And your children sees what's going on. They knows what's going on. And then you want them to focus in school. And, and then, then you're not saying nothing. That's the, that's the most saddest part about it. Nobody is posting nothing. Nobody is saying nothing. Nobody is expressing how they feel. Why? 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 All I get, oh, you making these videos. Oh, it's too much. Oh, it's probably about one, a handful of people that 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 agrees or understand where I'm coming from. You don't have to agree with me. I don't care. You know, I, I hear a lot of people tell me, oh, you're wrong. I've been wrong half of my life. It won't it won't hurt me to be wrong one more time. Trust me on that. So, so in saying that, there's how to be changed in the United States, period. When it concerning black people, period, period. Not too long ago this year, a black woman was killed for being pulled over. So it's not just black men, it's black, pe black people, period. And some of you are having these children that's going to grow up in a world that you have not made a difference in. Oh, it's not a big deal until it's you. When, when a problem hits home, that's when you want to react. That's when you want to say something. That's when you say, oh, it needs to be a change. But a change needed to be whether it happened to you or not. It's wrong. Period. It should have to happen to you for you to say it's wrong. It's wrong. And half of y'all be on Facebook, don't even say nothing. I'm, I'm looking, I don't, I don't see nothing. Black man killed. For what? They got a police call. The police said a man in a truck having car problem. So why in the world are you all coming out with guns for? If a person have a car problem and, a, and, and you get a call saying he having car problems in the middle of the road, what you drawing your guns for? That's what I don't understand. That's what I don't get. They just had a man that intentionally ambushed and killed police and they actually tried to talk to him. But you can't talk to normal citizens? You can't defuse the situation with normal people, 
But when the stone cold killer come, you want to talk? You cowards. Y'all mean you not playing, playing on my mind. Because I said it once, I said it twice. One plus one is two. You'll never get six. So, so you are talk to a stone cold killer. Why? Cause that man to kill back. But you want to talk to a normal citizen? That's uh uh. Just this other day, they killed the man, blew him up when he intentionally tried to kill police. And the first thing they say, we tried to talk him down. You try to talk a person down that's literally out to kill you what's the talk about like now you are literally out to kill black people what's the talk about and black people you all just sitting there like it's a game especially you young generation What's wrong with y'all? Y'all y'all talk about young thugs and all this. A, a, a so-called gangster rapper in a skirt. Never heard of it in my life. How you gonna be a gangster and you wearing a dress? That's more important than life? A concert more important than life? You stripping on a strip pole is more important than life? Than somebody breathing? Really? You keeping your job is more important then a person living? Really? Where's your moral? Where's your pers where's your perspective on life? On what's really going on in the world? That people would treat a dog better than they treat you? And you all going crazy, Hillary, Hillary. I ain't see Hillary address nothing. I ain't see Hillary talk about no plan for polices. No plans on 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 when when stuff like this happened to black people. Nothing is being discussed. The only thing is protect the police. But who's protecting us from the police? Hmm, I make these videos. I only get a handful of people that say something. Nobody another won't even write a post. Then you want to cry about when you're being taken advantage of. Then you want to cry about when things go on wrong. Then you want to cry about how you're being mistreated. How white people get treated better than you. Well, you letting it happen. If you slap a person, you don't do nothing, you keep slapping them. You hit a person, you don't do nothing, you keep hitting them. But you just going to sit there and let somebody beat your ass and you ain't going to hit them back? It's time for y'all to stop the foolishness. These people is straight up letting you know your life means jack shit. You do a movement called Black Lives Matter. It's sad that you even have to say such a thing. Then you get then you get somebody like Donald Trump say all lives matter. Well, all lives matter. Act like it. Show it. Be the example that all life matters. I don't care about politics. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong with every with, with all the leaders. It's all about politics. It is nothing about life. It's nothing about real example. It's nothing about something that's meaningful that has. That ha that has meaning to it, that has some type of substance. Nothing. Half of y'all conversation garbage. Y'all want to listen to the song? I got I got a house on my wrist. You think I buy an album with somebody want to brag about what kind of car they ride? Really? You could tweet that. You guys should spend your money on foolishness. People that have nothing to say. And then you all have the nerves to complain. To complain. 
Half of you black people on Facebook need to be ashamed of yourself. That half of you don't say nothing. Don't try to stand up for nothing. Then you want to holler about the black man. The black, what you want the black man to do? Hmm? What you want the black man to do? Huh? Huh? Half you don't respect the lies that people gave up for your butts. And I'm supposed to make a video talk, oh, you know what, we need to come together. Listen, man, listen. Ignorance is why people doing what they doing. Ignorance. You scared to make a sacrifice. That's why they do what they do. Because you're ignorant and you're not willing to even show a person you're not ignorant. You forgetting you got you got children that's gonna go into the same world that's killing black men, and it might be your son next time. You had you had you had people that had kids getting killed by the police. Police taking them dope, don't even have a search warrant, shooting the babies in the head, and y'all sitting around here turking your bodies like it's something to turk about. Please. Please, your looks do not make the world go round. And I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to keep it until there's real... I'm going to keep doing it until there's real change comes. Period. Because enough is enough. Enough is enough. These police need to be held accountable. For the damage they're doing to the black community. Slavery over. Nah, slavery ain't over. It's just my people don't even understand why. Why? Why? Because God loves you. Why? Because God say you holy when you when, when, when you clearly do what you want to do. But God still say you his people. That's the problem. And y'all need to wake up. It's time to make a change. It's time to stand up. 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 You all ought to be on Facebook writing what you feel. Talking about this situation. Let, let media know we're not putting up with your prejudice and, and your biasness. We having kids growing up now. We don't play. We don't live. Now it's time for us to do our part for our kids. The party's over. And if you don't think it's over, then why they keep killing black people? In broad daylight, on the media, with no problems. Why? Why? Especially y'all in the hood, in the projects, y'all ought to be speaking because y'all are most vulnerable to that situation than anybody. Enough is enough. The game's over. Game's over. The game's over. And you have to let them know. The game is over. We don't care about what they think they know. We don't care about their education. We have to let them know they will respect us. Whether they like it or not. Bottom line. We not negotiating. We not compromising. We not doing none of that. You, you will respect us. Period. You don't have to like me, but you will respect me. Period. You will respect my people. Period. The game's over. The game's over. You know, everybody sitting around in their little jobs. <laughs> and you'll swear they're making some real money. Please, them crumbs. They, you, you have to stand up, people. You have to stand up, people. You have to stand up, people. Whether you like it or not. Because it might be your brother, your sister, your grandma, your mama, your auntie. They might put a bullet in their head. Then what? 
So stand up before that happens. Stand up before that type of situation hit your door from. Because believe me, it's not that far away. It just inches away from it happened to you. It's sad. It's sad what black people have to go through. It's sad that we don't even say nothing about it. It ain't gonna change. It ain't, they ain't gonna well, you don't change. They ain't gonna stop where well, you don't stop. They they push, you push back. Until it changed. You have nothing to lose. You already struggling. You already suffering. So what so so what? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Voice your opinion. Voice your voice. I want to hear. Confront the situation. And stop running from it. Stand up. Stand up. Let them know this behavior will not be tolerated. Period. Period. It's not gonna be tolerated. They take they, they you got white people that did the same that had guns in their hand, they tasing them. They disarmed them. This man had nothing. Oh, he walked away to his car, so we killed him. Nah man, nah, nah, it's unexcusable. It's unexcusable and it's unacceptable. And it will not be tolerated. I'm not politically. I'm not politically bored. So it's not going to be tolerated, and there will be change. You think God is going to sit there? Y'all just going to sit there and watch you murder His people? Murder off of murder, murder after murder, murder after murder, murder after murder, and nothing's going to be said. You really think that's really how it's going to go down? You all better change because it's going to get real ugly. It's, un it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. You don't kill a person because you don't like them. You don't kill a person because you feel intimidated by them. You don't kill a person because you think they're better than you. It's unacceptable. And it will not be tolerated. 